Have you ever wondered why some people seem to attract success as effortlessly as a magnet attracts iron? Today, we're diving deep into a mystery that has puzzled minds for centuries. Imagine this. Every single thought in your mind is a powerful force capable of shaping the reality around you. Sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, right? But here's the twist. Science and ancient wisdom both whisper the same secret. Your mind, the most underrated tool you possess, holds the key to transforming your life. Think about it. How many times have you felt stuck only to realize that your own fears and doubts were the biggest hurdles? But here's the good news. Just as your thoughts have the power to create barriers, they also have the power to break them down. In this video, we're not just talking about theories, we're going to explore practical life-changing techniques that can turn your deepest desires into your everyday reality. So if you're tired of feeling like you're running on a treadmill, constantly moving but getting nowhere, this video is for you. We're about to embark on a journey to unlock the true potential of your thoughts, to turn the invisible into the visible. It's time to shift from dreaming to doing, from wishing to manifesting, and I promise, by the end of this video, you'll look at your mind not just as a part of you, but as a powerful ally in creating the life you've always dreamt of. Stay tuned, because what you're about to discover might just be the turning point you've been waiting for. Before we dive into unlocking the secrets of your mind, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this with someone who could use a little inspiration, and subscribe to stay on this journey with us. And trust me, you'll want to watch every part of this video because each moment is a step closer to transforming your life. Power of Thoughts Let's start by acknowledging a simple yet profound truth. Our thoughts have immense power. They are the seeds from which the reality of our lives grows. Each thought, be it a fleeting whisper or a deeply rooted belief shapes the world we live in. Pause for a moment and consider the nature of these seeds you're sowing in the fertile soil of your mind. Are they seeds of positivity and hope, blooming into a vibrant landscape of joy, success and fulfillment? Or are they seeds weighed down by the heavy soil of doubts and fears, struggling to break through to the sunlight? Think about it this way. Every great invention, every monumental achievement, and every inspiring tale began as a mere thought. The skyscrapers that scrape our city skylines, the symphonies that stir our souls, and the technologies that have transformed our lives. They all sprouted from the seed of an idea. This is the power of thought, a power that lies within each of us. However, it's not just the grandiose thoughts that shape our world. The everyday thoughts, the ones we might not even pay attention to, are constantly sculpting our experiences. When you wake up in the morning, what are your first thoughts? Do you greet the day with anticipation and enthusiasm, or do you dread the tasks ahead? These initial musings set the tone for your day, influencing your mindset and, in turn, your actions and interactions. Our thoughts also have a profound impact on our emotional well-being. Positive thoughts can uplift us, fueling us with energy and optimism. They act as a beacon, guiding us towards choices and paths that enhance our lives. On the other hand, negative thoughts can trap us in a cycle of self-doubt and despair, clouding our judgment and leading us down a path of missed opportunities and unfulfilled potential. Moreover, the power of thoughts extends beyond the individual. Our thoughts radiate outwards, affecting those around us. Have you ever noticed how a person's mood can influence an entire room? A positive person can light up the space, while a negative person can cast a shadow over the atmosphere. This ripple effect of our thoughts can shape our relationships, our work environments, and ultimately, our communities. But the most beautiful aspect of this truth is that we have the choice. 
we have the power to cultivate the garden of our mind. We can choose to water the seeds of positivity, to nurture them with the sunlight of our attention and care. We can weed out the negative thoughts that threaten to overrun our mind's landscape. It's a daily practice, a conscious decision we make each moment. So as we embark on this journey together, I invite you to reflect on the power of your thoughts. Ask yourself, what thoughts am I choosing to nurture? What reality am I creating for myself? The answers to these questions are the first step in harnessing the true potential of your mind and reshaping your life into the masterpiece it's meant to be. Self-Reflection Let's take a break and really think about where we are in life. Look around at everything you've done and everything you have. Ask yourself, is this what I always hoped and dreamed for? Remember, every big thing you've done, every free and you've made, every memory you cherish, they all started as just a tiny thought in your head. When we stop and think about our lives, it's like pressing the pause button on a busy day. It's a chance to ask ourselves some important questions. Are we happy with where we're at? Are the things we're doing every day helping us get closer to where we want to be? Sometimes we get so caught up in the rush of life that we forget to stop and think if we're actually heading in the right direction. Self-reflection isn't always easy. It's like looking in a mirror, but instead of just seeing your face, you're seeing your whole life. It can be tough to admit that we're not where we want to be. But here's the thing. Realizing that is a huge first step. It's the moment you start to take control of your thoughts and your life. And let's not forget, every small step counts. Maybe you haven't climbed a mountain yet, but maybe you've taken up a hobby that makes you happy, or you've started making small choices that are better for your health. All of these things began with a thought, a decision, a moment where you said to yourself, I'm going to try this. This is the power of your mind in action. Every good thing in your life, you've thought it into being in some way. By taking time for self-reflection, you're doing a really important check-in with yourself. You're asking, am I on the right path? Am I living the life I thought about? So, as you take this time to think about your life, be kind to yourself. Remember, it's never too late to change your thoughts and change your path. You have the power to turn your life into what you've always dreamed of. It all starts with a thought, and it grows every time you take a moment to reflect and ask yourself, am I where I want to be? Practical Steps All right, it's time to turn those big thoughts and dreams into real things you can see and touch. How do we do that? Well, the first step is to see your goals clearly in your mind. Imagine them. What do they look like, feel like? It's like making a movie in your head where you're the star and everything's going just the way you want it. But let's take it one step further. Let's make something you can see every day that reminds you of your goals. This could be a vision board or a journal. A vision board is like a big poster where you put pictures and words that show all the things you want to do, have or be. For example, if you dream of traveling, you might put pictures of the places you want to visit. If your goal is to get fit, you might have images of healthy food or people exercising. Now, a journal is a bit different, but just as powerful. It's like a diary for your dreams. Every day, or as often as you can, write down your goals, your plans to reach them, and even the small steps you've taken. This helps in two ways. It makes your goals super clear, and it also keeps track of all the progress you're making. These tools, the vision board and the journal, they're not just for setting goals. They're like daily reminders to keep your dreams bright and shiny in your mind. They're there to inspire you, to push you on those days when you feel a bit down or when things seem tough. But here's a tip. Don't just make these and forget about them. 
Put your vision board somewhere you'll see it every day, like on your bedroom wall or beside your mirror and your journal. Keep it by your bed or somewhere easy to reach. Make looking at your vision board and writing in your journal part of your daily routine, like brushing your teeth or having breakfast. The idea here is to keep your goals at the front of your mind, always. When you see your goals every day, you start thinking about them more. And the more you think about them, the more you'll find ways to make them happen. It's like planting a seed in your mind. The more you water it with attention and care, the more it grows. So to wrap this up, start with a clear picture of what you want. Make it real with a vision board or a journal. Look at them every day. Think about your goals, write about them, and watch them start to grow from thoughts into things you can see and do in the real world. Empowerment through action. Now let's get into the real magic of making your dreams come true. And that magic is all about taking action, bit by bit, day by day. You see, reaching your dreams isn't like jumping over a huge canyon in one big leap. It's more like walking up a staircase one step at a time. Let's break it down into something really simple. Start with small goals, things you know you can do. Maybe it's waking up a bit earlier each day, going for a short walk, or saving a small amount of money each week. These might not seem like big deals, but trust me, they add up. And here's the important part. Celebrate every time you achieve these little goals. Did you wake up early and go for that walk? Give yourself a pat on the back. Saved some money this week? That's fantastic. Celebrating these small wins keeps you motivated. It's like cheering for yourself, saying, Hey, I'm doing this. I'm moving forward. Gradually, as you keep doing these small things, you'll start to feel more confident. You'll think, if I can do this, what else can I do? And that's when you start building up to bigger goals. Maybe now, instead of just a walk, you'll start a full workout. Or instead of saving a little, you'll start planning a budget to save even more. Here's the thing about small, consistent actions. They're powerful. They're like the drops of water that, over time, can carve pathways through stone. Every single step you take is a victory because it's moving you closer to your bigger dreams. It's proving to yourself that you can do it. But remember, it's not just about the action itself. It's about the habit you're building. You're training yourself to be someone who doesn't just dream but does. You're turning yourself into a person who makes things happen. So, the message here is, start small, keep at it, and celebrate every little success along the way. These small steps are your foundation. They're what will eventually lead you to the top of that staircase, to the big dream you've been aiming for. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a piece of that dream coming to life. Incorporating Gratitude Now let's talk about something really special that can change the way you see everything. Gratitude. Gratitude is all about looking at what you already have and feeling thankful for it. It's like switching your view from thinking about what you don't have to enjoying and appreciating what you do have. Think of it this way. Imagine your mind is like a garden. Now, every garden needs sunlight to grow and be healthy, right? Gratitude is like that sunlight for your mind. When you're grateful, it's like shining a big, bright light on all the good things in your life. This light helps your dreams and your happiness grow. So how do you do this? It's simple. Start by noticing the small things. Maybe it's a sunny day, a good meal, or a friend who made you laugh. It could be as simple as having a cozy bed to sleep in. All these things are blessings, and when you start to notice them, you begin to realize how rich your life actually is. And here's a cool thing. When you focus on the good stuff, you start to feel better. You feel happier and more positive. This isn't just feel-good talk. It's actually backed by science. Studies have shown that being thankful can make you a happier person. 
It's like a happiness booster shot. But let's go deeper. Gratitude isn't just feeling thankful for the big wins. It's also about being thankful for the challenges and the hard times. Why? Because even tough times teach us something. Maybe they make us stronger, teach us patience, or show us who our real friends are. When you're grateful for the hard stuff, it loses its power to bring you down. To make gratitude a part of your life, try this. Every day, think of three things you're grateful for. They can be big things or small things. Write them down in a journal or just think about them. Doing this every day trains your mind to look for the good. It's like putting on glasses that help you see all the wonderful things in your life. Remember, gratitude doesn't mean ignoring the problems or challenges you face. It's about balancing your view. It's recognizing that even though things might not be perfect, there's still plenty to be thankful for. And when you start to see your life this way, you'll be amazed at how much brighter your world becomes. So let's make gratitude a key part of our journey. Let's turn our focus to the abundance we already have and watch as it grows and fills our lives with joy and positivity. Let it be the sunlight that helps your dreams blossom. Dealing with challenges. Now, let's be real for a minute. The road to making your dreams come true isn't always going to be easy. There will be bumps, big rocks, and maybe even some hills along the way. These are your challenges and obstacles. But here's a different way to look at them. Instead of seeing them as just problems, think of them as chances to grow stronger and smarter. Imagine you're on a hike. When you come across a steep part or a big rock, what do you do? You find a way around it, or you climb over it. And what happens when you do that? You get stronger, your skills get better, and you learn what works and what doesn't. That's exactly what challenges in life are like. When something tough comes up, it's like life is testing you, asking, how badly do you want this dream? It's your chance to show how committed you are. And every time you face a challenge and work through it, you're telling yourself, I can do this. I'm strong enough to handle this. But there's more. Every challenge teaches you something. Maybe it's about being patient or about finding new ways to solve problems. Sometimes challenges even show us new paths we hadn't thought about before. It's like finding a hidden trail that leads to an even better view. Also, think about how good you feel after you've overcome a problem. You feel like a champion, don't you? That's because you've proved to yourself that you can handle tough stuff. And guess what? Each time you do that, you're building your confidence. You start to believe more in yourself and your ability to tackle whatever comes your way. And let's not forget, when we face challenges, we often learn to adapt. Maybe the way you were doing things wasn't the best, and a challenge shows you a better way. It's like life's way of nudging you to change and grow. So, next time you hit a bump in the road, don't get down about it. Instead, take a deep breath, look that challenge in the eye, and say, I'm ready for you. Remember, every hurdle is a chance to learn something new, to adapt your plans, and to come out stronger on the other side. In summary, Facing challenges is a natural part of achieving your dreams. They're not there to stop you. They're there to make you better. Embrace them, learn from them, and use them to fuel your journey forward. Remember, it's not about the problem. It's about how you handle it. And you, my friend, are more than capable of handling it and emerging victorious. As we come to the end of our journey today, remember this. You are the architect of your own destiny. The challenges you face, the dreams you nurture, and the gratitude you hold, they're all brushes in the masterpiece of your life. Each stroke, whether light or bold, paints the unique story that is yours alone. So, keep dreaming, keep striving, and above all, keep believing in the power within you. You have everything it takes to make your dreams a reality. And hey, 
don't let the journey stop here. On the screen, you'll find a playlist I've put together just for you. It's filled with more insights, tips and inspiration to keep you motivated and on track. Click on it, dive in, and let's continue this incredible journey together. Remember, every step you take is a step closer to the life you've always imagined. So go ahead, click on that playlist, and let's keep moving forward, one inspired step at a time.